Welcome back, pimps and hoes. This is the first episode of season five oh, wow. of Off Air. <laughs> Hi, I was going to go with, hi, we missed you. Oh, sorry. Jeez. We did miss you. Damn. Yeah, we did wow. miss you. How have you guys been? What's been happening in your ends? Hmm. What's been the latest story? Hmm. What's been this? What's been that? Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff has happened, though. Oh, Rishi, Rishi. Seriously. Oh, Rishi, Rishi. Big shout out to Off Air gang yes. that have been tagging us relentlessly. All of you people that have been like, oh, when are you guys coming back? When are you guys... We're back. We're back. We're back. We're, We're back. back. Somebody was like, why did it take so long? I was like, eh, we have families, yes. jobs, take care of. Other, other and hustles. And this is not cheap. It's not cheap. Look. Yeah, no, I, I mean, why well, I mean, you dare? Oh, they, oh, oh, they look spectacular. Yeah, you too. You are, know, so, look you are looking sparkling. This is not cheap. You cheap. see? You see? I'm expensive. Mm-hmm. In the words of our well, leader, Bob Risky. Risky, I mean, what's his name? Uh, Bob Risky. I'm expensive. <laughs> very expensive. I'm very expensive. Anyways. Yeah. Shout out to Eve After Dark for sending us food. I have pounded yam with seafood or crow. What you got? I have got a goosey mm-hmm. with this lovely wrap of a semel. I'm not even going to go into the detail of what I feel about semel, but that today is not, it's not the time. I like piece. semel. It tastes like despair and just Semo. disappointment. Semo. Semo. Sorry, what did I say? Semo. A goosey. Right. Yeah. Anyway, it's by from Eve After Dark. Shout out to them. I was going to me as well. Yeah, Goatsmith looking good. Mm-hmm. Uh, check them out. Their website is the we Eve After Dark. Um, they are open 24 hours, so you can get food every time. Not just yep. After Dark, every yep. time. And check them out on Instagram as well, Eve After Dark underscore. Mm-hmm. First off, mm. hopefully all of you guys have seen um, the promo, our yes. promo, our most expensive promo yet. Oh, mommy. We shot in a private jet, y'all. What podcast in this country is giving you, first of all, I think we're the only ones who give you video promos. Yes. Yes. We're the, one of the only ones who give you like proper crisp photos every mm. season. Every and then season. this time we went all the way in Anadelvi style to hijack a private plane for a private jet for this promo. I was going to, I was going to shade some people. I was going to say, it's not the private jet studio in Lekki. No, this is an actual jet. private yeah, jet. Actual was. private jet. Mm-hmm. You know? I mean, mm-hmm. it, it, we, we, we do a lot for you. Understand. We do a so, lot. If you haven't seen it, check out our promo. It yes. is on YouTube. It's on our Instagram pages. Mm-hmm. Check it out. Let us know It's on what your you favorite blogs as well. And I guess both of us are officially Nollywood ready. <laughs> I've been, girl. Do I'm you, not. I'm still well, learning. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Really, as you know, you're you know. looking at an executive producer here. So yeah, girl, three AM VCA girl. nominations, darling. Bye, girl. Thank you. Girl, girl. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. No, but okay. Uh, what happened since we've been gone? I left radio, and I am fully working on my various hustles, baby soccer shoes, uh, TNC Africa, and the rest of them. Are all your hustles legal? Oh, legal. Okay. Oh. Right, just check in. Oh. Because, no, I'm asking. Because a lot of people, with everything that's going on in the country right now, a lot of people are thinking, what can I do that will make money that maybe isn't 100% legal? I mean, that's their business. I mean, if we're not legal, I will not be bootstrapping here with people. I've said this thing one million <laughs> times. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, but it's, it's, it's just, we, there's just so much to do. Like, and, well, God help us. There's so much. Anyhow, so, uh, of course, if you have seen our trailer, it was... Um, It was influenced or inspired, inspired by um, two of like the 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 biggest scammers right now. Yeah, Netflix shows over the last few months. Um, Simon Mm -hmm. um, of uh, the the the, the Tinder swindler, Mm -hmm. and then also Anna. I don't have time for you. I I don't don't have have time time for for this. (laughs) Yeah, Anna Delvey. Yes, Anna Delvey. Delvey. Who do you think was the smartest swindler? I think the smartest swindler was Anna Delvey. Definitely. Anna put in so much effort. You see, Simon did the regular f boy thing promise yeah. a babe um, love you know sp- you know spend a few here and there and then start asking her for money mm. i mean abuja boys do that all the time Whoa! But I'm just, uh, i mean i'm just saying Shout out to all of our abuja viewers. i'm just saying <laughs> and Whoa, then so but anna went the you know she see if you watch that show very well they explained how she did her homework she did she, was very she knew clever. who to target she knew who was important she knew how to tip she knew also all like she she had the details of art like she would go to art galleries and discuss like properly she knew what's up like she really did her homework it's almost like you think she's she's the hero not the villain no she is the villain at the same time i was also very concerned because the people around her one the journalists 
who wrote the in, I mean, who wrote the whole article about her? Yeah. All of a sudden, was kind of like on her sides, or almost. They were all like quite, like you said before, they were quite devoted. to yes, her. Yes, they were devoted to her. Her friend uh, Neff, well, I think that's her name. Um, the only people that were not really messing with her like that was the trainer. That one knew from day one that hey, <laughs> let's just be friends on the surface level. But it was kind of worrisome how they were devoted to her. Like, okay, the banker that she made like her advisor all of a sudden he was almost like a father figure to her he was taking her everywhere introducing her to new york's elite and everything and it was a bit worrisome that this girl with just a few words and just yeah, you know say a yeah. few things will get people on her side and i was saying that it's people like her that start cults yes 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 it is um so so people like her um she is actually a true con person oh yeah because what con people do is they find they get you to they, they get you to give some information about yourself mm -hmm. so for example now um the banker the banker that became her advisor the fact that she knew that okay he had a daughter that he felt should be doing more mm -hmm. and everything and then she tried to position herself mm. to be that daughter, you know, figure. Mm. Mm. And the next thing, this guy is like looking at her and he's kind of seeing his daughter. So people like that are actually mm. very scary. Mm. People like that, I feel, are borderline psychopaths. So you have to be very careful. She was very delusional. She still insisted. She was, till today. That till her father today, is one rich guy. I, isn't it funny how her, like, her family didn't want anything to do with her? Mm. Now, Simon, Simon was, I don't think he was particularly clever. Mm -hmm. He was, he definitely wasn't as clever. He just as got Anna. lucky. He got lucky and... I just feel, I mean, I feel bad for the women, but mm -hmm. at the same time, y'all are stupid. How is somebody going to make you take out a loan? I Before you get that far, how can you meet a guy online, one, and then he's like, oh, I'm so busy. Oh, but, you know, I I'll fly you to France. Can you come meet me? If you're not an Ojuko oh, that one was, that was, if you're was, not, oh, Linier, that one was a thief. If, no, see, if you're not a thief, like why and then are you not worried maybe because we live in nigeria and mm -hmm. you know we're also worried about ritual killings and stuff like that or people stealing your destiny but Wait, hang on a for you that girl was it the first date yes that he flew her to jets. another country huh. and then oh she was like oh i was so in love uh no you were greedy and mm -hmm. it's and it, you see you see I, I i'll say this uh, i feel like look all you have to do right now in this day and age of social media is Position yourself in a way that looks like you are more than what you are. You know, it's very simple. Like, you know... As most of us in Lagos. As we were shooting... No, as we <laughs> most were... Most of us in Nigeria, no, really. No, but see, as we were shooting <laughs> that um, our promo, yeah. the private jet, my makeup artist said to me, you know, Bumi, this is what people do. She said, Bumi, if you post this picture now, do you know how many people will start following you? How many people will now want to be your friend? Because, oh, wow, it, it seems as if, no, you've come into some means. You've come into some money. Oh, wow, you're, you're on a new level now it's ridiculous yeah like it just it shows just like see all you have to do is just take a few pictures here and there like i mean nothing stopped us from taking different mm. outfits now and mm. going there so it's so and then you post you post if you post, go there with four outfits and post one uh, and then you change wig and post another one uh, off again mm. uh, guess where i'm going and then you tag <laughs> i catch flights not feeling yeah all of that all, all of that rubbish, rubbish. you understand <laughs> But like I said, but there is it's actually so a, a private jet studio. I don't know if it's still operating. Mm. This is, there is actually a private jet studio that a few people that we know have taken pictures there. So that thing wasn't fictional? No, no, no. It's it true. actually existed in this lake. I told you. To, I showed you pictures of people that are taking it there. I know, but it looks, Then it was exactly the same. Well, it looked like a carpenter made the... Like, it was so oh obvious that... <laughs> Anyways, anyways, if you bet everybody knows that, you know, private jets, they're not very big. Then mm. I mean, well, in terms of like how they place the furniture and everything. So if you see anybody um, in a private jet where the chairs look quite spaced out, is that studio in Lekki? If we find the address, we'll give it to you. You two go and snap your own. Snap your own for your birthday. Just saying. Anyway. Be like 40 and fabulous, catching flights, not feeling, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but really, and it's not just private jets. It's even, it's even... No, it's even in general. No, no, no. But it's even in general. Also, like if you pose a lot with like designer stuff, people start to look at you on a certain level yes. and things like that. And I just think, do you want people to like you for how who you are as a person or what they feel that you have? It's you know what it's it's a game, and I think um, you need to be very very aware of what's going on. So some people kind of just say you know that whole fake it till you make it, mm -hmm. and some people kind of say that well if they see me f um, somebody actually said to me that oh you should you should have posted a picture and I was like why and they were like well you know what people that want to book you now they'll be like they'll look at you be like okay tools 
flies private jets, designing this, designing that. I, I told you this thing before, like an artist manager once said to me that, because I asked him, I said, why is your artist all of a sudden posing with money and standing on his a car that he just bought and why are you showing us these things? And he said, you have to do these things. Yeah. If not, they will price you low. And honestly, something happened last week. Like I got a lot of phone calls. People were trying to book me for things, but they were offering really ridiculous, like insulting money. And I was like, am I oozing eau de poor or something? Like, <laughs> what is going <laughs> on? Eau de poor. Eau de poor. <laughs> like, because I was like, I mean, is it? I, I was just like, wait, wait, wait. Like, what? Poverty in the toilet. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it was, it, no, but it, it was borderline disrespectful. And at some point I had to tell someone to like, fuck off, but in the nicest way. How do you say that in a nice way? Because I, I just said, I'm not available for your project at this moment. It is not within <laughs> the rates that I charge. I don't want to go into, go into detail so that they won't know it is what I'm talking yeah, about yeah. specifically, but it was just ridiculous. And then I was not saying to someone like, should I now, should I be flossing more? Like if I travel now, must I be like, sure. New York, New York, yeah, sure. hey, yeah. Like, or, do, do you understand? Like I remember going, I remember traveling one time I went abroad and then I didn't post any pictures. I wasn't in the mood. I just wanted to chill. Like I just wanted to just see. It was my chance to, I had two weeks. It was my chance to just chill, not wear any makeup. Don't go to any events. Don't post for any picture. Just be. And I came back and somebody was like, ah, ah. so you traveled. You didn't even post any picture. Why? How people know you traveled? I was like, did I go for me or did I go for people? Do you, do you know what's crazy, right? I get what you're saying. Like this, like if you're in the if you're in the public eye, mm. you have to you have to know what your limits are. Mm. You have to just kind of say, you know what, I'm not going to do that. And the scary thing is, some people don't understand the difference between me, like somebody just going on holiday, and somebody being sent on in like an influencer trip. Mm. You know, so for example, um, I've done like a few influencer trips and everything, and. It's it's so because I went to Dubai. I went to Dubai in March, mm -hmm. uh, beginning of March, and that was an influencer trip. So I had to like you know obviously Take pictures, post, and, post you know um, give them content and everything. And it's so scary how many like I was a, a few weeks ago. I was I was at a restaurant with my kids, and somebody just came up to me and was like, "How was Dubai?" And I was like, hmm? "It was just it was." I was <laughs> like, "What?" So the thing is, people see that and they're like, oh, I saw you, you're gallivanting all over the place and everything. And I was like, I was, I was working. I was actually working. And it's part of it. So I think people don't um, now, they don't really take time to figure out, okay, this is the person working and mm. showing off like the location because the tourism board or whatever they want to they want the person to do that and then this is the person that's just enjoying it. so you 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 actually need to be very um careful yeah um and i think this also um falls into you know like um instagram couples people mm. that post their relationships uh -huh. and everything because everybody kind of thinks that oh you know you give you Every, every couple, every relationship, every marriage, they have issues. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at somebody's um, marriage, if you're looking at somebody's relationship, um, I think recently everyone's talking about Cora. Mm -hmm. If you were looking at her relationship, you're looking at her marriage and you thought everything was perfect and you thought they never had fights, mm -hmm. they never had issues, you're stupid. Every as you as we're looking at Sierra and Russell and we're like, oh my gosh, couple girls, couple girls, do you, do you not, do, they fight. They I'm fight. Sure. They fight. They probably have issues. So it's up to you to to learn how to be discerning, mm -hmm. to learn you know what is fake, what is real, and then do not let it cloud your judgment. See, do not let it cloud your judgment because Remy's husband bought her a I don't know Lexus as a push gift. Don't be looking at your husband thinking, well, Remy got a Lexus as a push gift. Da, 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 da. It might even be least. It might be. I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm not saying. You understand? I'm just using you because you're here. Use yourself. Use yourself. Okay, like me now. It could be. It could be like we went to borrow pose on private jet. It could be that. Mm. It could be that they just said, okay, well, the person that owns a jet, okay, they're coming in 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, go ahead and quickly take your pictures and everything. So don't be misled by those things. That's basically it. I was told that apparently there's this guy of a certain he's not nigerian who has these exotic cars really expensive cars in lagos so what happens is people go there and do like a lease right yes, so for no. a year yes and everything and then they will now post oh my new baby your new baby is not your baby it's <laughs> for six months or a year or whatever yeah that's what they do that happens that's when i heard okay. that stuff i my mouth was like oh <gasps> Mm -mm. And the, somebody told this is actually my um my young niece 
said that like um, some of these TikTokers mm. they rent apartments to yes. create content. Oh yeah, so yeah, so that's they rent that's, apartments, that's, that's they do that. They that's all of these different like yeah. so renting yeah. cars yeah. and everything. So yeah. I think the, the like I said before, the moral of the story is don't be daft and be tensioned by all mm-hmm. of these things because mm-hmm. I know there's definitely a problem right now, especially in Nigeria, of a lot of young people feeling pressured to be like to show off you know expensive things mm-hmm. expensive cars mm-hmm. expensive clothes and everything um even or to the, look a certain yeah, way yeah to look a certain way even the um uh the, it was it was i think at some point last year or the year before that i found out that you can buy designer bags not handbags designer shopping bags oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like people's i i didn't know that happened yeah. i didn't know about that so you can somebody can not let me not a Gucci handbag. <laughs> you know the bag, the shopping bag. Yeah, the shopping bag. Yeah, you can buy it. people sell that. People yeah. sell that. Um, and there's some people that buy it just to do photo shoots. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know about that. Mm. So I went somebody. I said I was like, that's a lie. I was like, you cannot be that desperate. Uh, that you're like, who mm. the hell are you trying to impress? Listen, eh, let's just. Let's Anyhow, just. so something that people are still talking about is slap. The slap Slapping that gigs. was heard around the world. Slapping season. So we all know what happened. Chris Rock made a G.I. Jane joke. For those who don't know what G.I. Jane refers to, was referring, obviously the character G.I. Jane has a bald head yeah. in the movie. And uh, Jada Pinkett was proudly sporting her bald head, you know, after she's revealed to the world that she has alopecia. Alopecia is basically yeah. when you lose your hair, you lose your basically. Hair. Mm. Um, and in a world where... Um, they tell you as a woman that your hair is your crown and this and that. Like, hair is very important to a lot of people, a lot of women, especially black women. There's not... See, bold, you are very bold. I will never cut my hair. Like, first of all, I, w- I don't think it will fit me. That's not by one. You are bold. I've never colored my hair in my life because I don't want to... T- <laughs> I like it. So, so, hair is very important to people. Anyway, I we l- don't I know... I love... I love my hair short. I- like breeze, just I can wear nice. we, I can wear short we go, but to actually cut it, never in life. Why? No, no, I, I just, I just can't. It's precious. It's so precious to me. Like I just, you know. So, that's, so what if God forbid? Me. God forbid. For, so what if one day, like your hair fell out? I don't know what I'll do. Really? I don't know what I'll do. Okay. Like, do you understand? So hair, it, it means so many different things to so many different people. So we don't know how this woman's um, mental health had suffered because of the loss of her hair. Yes, she has, you know, she has, uh, uh, you know, shown, done short hair in the past or whatever. She has done all sorts of nice, cute pixie but cuts this was or like whatever. Out of but this one, she was just, and I think she felt like be- being a public figure, she needed to step out like that to show other women who are dealing with this situation that, you know what, it's okay. So we don't know how she has been crying to her husband at night or whatever it is that, oh, well, I don't feel nice, I don't feel this, I don't feel that. Now, he made this joke, and then next thing we see Chris, uh, we see Will Smith walking towards uh, Chris Rock and gave him a dirty, stinking slap. I don't know how Bianca Chris Esla. Rock was able to stand that he not stagger. No more. He must have really oh. eaten apple or something because how? Then you and then you hear Chris and um, uh, Will Smith saying, "Keep my na- my wife's name out of your mouth. Keep, Keep my, my wife's wife name, name out of your motherfucking." Your fucking fucking I mean, violence is not the answer, Never, especially on camera. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch him in the parking lot, backstage, anywhere <laughs> in the golf course, anywhere. But you see, not on camera because at first I was cringing, like, "Oh my god, two black men." you know showing I this level of joke. violence I it was but here i was then i was like you know what racist people are going to be racist anyway mm-hmm. so they don't care whether you have a good little negro or not but it was just embarrassing like and you know it was such a i like will smith so much like he's one of the most liked men in the world but for him to just have this lapse in judgment was it in or of judgment in lapse of, in judgment lapse in judgment was just you know it was very sad and the fact that he's going to deal with so much there's so many repercussions that he's going to deal with um he has pulled out he's no longer in the academy he's resigned, he's from, resigned the from the academy. academy yes fair do you think that he should get his oscar taken away um okay so i don't think he should get his oscar taken away because the, harvey weinstein still has his oscars yeah, exactly roman polanski still has his oscar and those ones and those that ones one, rip people do you understand um, now, my this is my perspective on the, ho- the everything that happened. First of all, it has been widely reported that mm. Chris Rock did not know that 
um, Jada was suffering from alopecia. Mm -hmm. um, there are lots of people actually that came out that said they didn't know that she she had alopecia because Jada has sported that look before, mm. you know. So there's that, and I am. I don't think it was a. It wasn't like a. This okay. I'm speaking from somebody that quite a lot of these comedy shows. What like when I go, once a person on stage sees me, mm. next thing they're making jokes. My ass is big. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, yeah. So as somebody that's been, you know. <laughs> The butt of several jokes. Chicken, chicken laughter. Anyways, <laughs> you know, one. yeah. As, as somebody, um, I, it's not, it's not nice. And sometimes mm. you have to laugh when you don't want to laugh. Mm. Now, I don't think that um, Chris actually made that joke from mm. it from a horrible place. I don't think so. I don't so. think so. Now, um, in terms of what happened, you said that you don't know. You, you, you said something earlier that, oh, we don't know how Jade has been crying to Will and everything. Mm. What bothered me is that Will was laughing first. You know when you hear something like okay, yeah. same thing happened yesterday. We were at this event. I was was, laughing. Someone decided to throw. Here I, I was sitting down drinking my sprite, and you know all of a sudden I hear my name, my her name on stage, and the man threw a little bit of shade at us, and I was like, ha, 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 ha. I didn't laugh. I was like, Sue was, was like, like, what did he say? I was like, what did he say? So when, when he got on stage, she was like, wait, 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 wait. Did he just throw shade at us? And I was just like, uh, yeah. yeah. You know, so he kind of laughed. Maybe he now processes like, wait a second. I sent him a message. Oh. I was like, did you shade us? He's like, oh, no, 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 no. I was like, I'm vexing for you. Then I left it because I was like, okay, let me just, you know, before it turns into something else. Anyway, so we'll, we'll laugh. That was a bit, that was a bit weird. Now, um, there were so many different things that were just wrong with that night. Like, um, a lot of people talked about Will's mental health. Mm -hmm. And over the last months, Will... And his family You're and Jada, his too. marriage, everybody, everybody has been joking. They've been everybody. trending They've been the most on worldwide Twitter. They've been the most Not trolled family, family in the past two college. years. We will talk about that one, about why, you know, it may be in a, in a future episode. So obviously, you know, and then obviously the joke about, the, 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 the main joke about Jada and August Alsina. Mm. So he probably had been taken like a bashing. Mm. And I think emotionally he was probably like, at, yeah, at the end, edge, yeah. at, at, um, uh, uh, on the edge and everything. Now, um, did he, in terms of how he reacted, in terms of him deciding to defend Jada, mm. that was not what I had an issue with. I feel like if your partner is in a position where they're, they're, they're being made uncomfortable by somebody, mm -hmm. you, could act, you should definitely stand up mm -hmm. to them. Now, Will is a very, very powerful, you know, um, person in, you know, the Hollywood space. If, as Chris had been telling that joke, if Will didn't smile, if he had strung his face, I did like this. You know, as in everybody would have known. Then I would have expected him to go and meet him afterwards and be like, "Do you know that my wife has a condition? Why would you make a joke about that? Apologize now." And like you said, you can catch him in the parking lot. You can catch him in the bathroom. You can. There's so many different ways. But doing that on what was perhaps the most important night mm. of his career. I thought that was wrong. Mm -hmm. And if I was, because people are like, oh, but what if you were jaded and everything? I've been in a situation where I've been at a comedy show um, with my husband and somebody said something. And I think because I, I've, I've been able to get thicker skin, mm -hmm. I wasn't, it wasn't like the funniest joke, but I was like, okay, if I get upset, then it's gonna, you know, so I was just like, okay, fine, haha, -ha, move on. You know, but um, at that point, I wouldn't have, if I got really upset, I wouldn't have expected my husband to go on stage and, and like, fight. do you understand? Mm -hmm. I would have expected you to stand up for me. Mm -hmm. It is very, very important to stand up for your partner it's very very important to not let your partner be disrespected but there are different ways to do that yes. i think defending your partner does not mean going in with violence mm -hmm. there's so many different ways you can do that mm -hmm. and i just I'm, i was so sad for will yes i was so sad for will that he felt the need to do this on like i said before one of the most important nights of his career mm -hmm. now what i did not like was that um after it happened a lot of people were comforting will like oh sorry did your hand hurt when you slapped him are you okay whatever and chris is there like a lot of people could tell that chris was extremely embarrassed yes for the rest of his life he's going to be known as a person that got slapped at the oscars mm, they're gonna make fun of his kids yes oh, you know all that and um apparently oh, he was he's been in therapy because mm -hmm. if you've watched everybody hates chris mm -hmm. yeah. you know he was beaten up a lot, a lot. And he said, I think there was something that I watched where he goes, I'm, I've just accepted that not everyone's going to jump me. So mm. imagine having that constant fear growing up yeah, and they're sure. being slapped and like so publicly like that. Embarrassing. I, yeah. And I did like the fact that a lot of people were rallying around Will. Yes, it was completely out of character for him. 
but he still slapped somebody. Mm. You know, so there are so many different things. Um, um, and, and, and what I don't also like is people blaming Jada Pinkett, saying, oh, she, she made him do it. She didn't say, okay, we'll go there and slap him. They're, they're like, oh, people are really pushing. They've been pushing. Like, maybe oh, she yeah. said. So, yeah, she made him do it. She made him do it. I was just like. Maybe she said under her breath, that, oh, what are you going to do? Tupac would have shot him. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. One day we're going to talk. Anyway. One day we're going we're gonna to talk. Can you, so, you don't, isn't, it, isn't that weird, though? I think she's still in love with Tupac. Why does everyone see this? Can we be white people? Let's just no, be honest. Please, no, please. No, no, no. no, no that's not true. I think she is. No. All right, what's the next topic? Okay. As the reality TV <laughs> expert, my she's, whole body is. has been this vibrating. Is this, this is You this see, is because, thing. first of all, they gave us young... African and famous. So, hey, hey, no, 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 that stays in. That stays in. Let's go. Zena said, "There's nothing young there." There's nothing young. Well, young is relative. Mm. Well, children in the eyes of the Lord. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Well, children of God. Sorry. Right. Let me get back to. Well, let me get back to it. So they gave us this reality show, and then they, you know they. Did you finish in. watching that? I, I finished watching it, and I like how they ended it, and I was hoping for a reunion because yeah. I need. So I need that guy, um, uh, and and DJ yeah. to explain to to uh, what's his name to, to Diamond, Diamond. Aspa. What were you doing? With his baby mama. No, well, that's another conversation for another day. But that was interesting. That was entertaining to watch. Um, I haven't finished it yet. Yeah, watch it. Mm. That was very entertaining to watch. So shout out to them. Then I saw the one that made me squeal for joy. Real Housewives of Lagos. <laughs> I love Real Housewives. Oh my I watched every episode of Potomac. I've watched every episode of Atlanta. So for me to... And I've been talking about this thing for years. That Nigeria is ready for reality TV shows that are not winner-based. So yes, we, we have all the big brothers yeah, and the, the talent shows, the talent shows, shows and mm. everything. But reality TV... Because this is a this is a madhouse, this country, this this, this city, yeah. and yeah. I'm so glad that uh, they, they made it happen. So we were at the premiere, mm-hmm. or well, the launch, and then they showed us episode one. Your thoughts? Okay, so I didn't finish watching episode one. Mm-hmm. Um, I had to go somewhere, but um, it was it was very interesting. Um, so episode one is basically uh, the different characters like introducing themselves mm-hmm. so and um, cast members. the different cast members. Sorry. Yeah. The different cast members like introducing themselves and everything and the person that got like a lot of shouts a lot of you know applause was Toyin mm-hmm. and um, every now and then she just broke into like full Yoruba yes. she broke into full Yoruba Yabo I feel she was a little bit reserved yeah but I think she's, she's gonna going come to come out she's going to come oh, out were you there when they showed the what was to come in the season no there's a part where there are some dinner table and then Yabo almost gets on the dinner table and she goes where let me like I'm mad oh. don't play with me oh. I, I was like, just like I, like, I think I Yab- who do you think is going to be your favorite uh Tony Yabo um and I I'm like my favorite I, for different reasons I'll say this uh-huh. Tony and Yabo bring the craziness, yeah. you know. I like, like these Yabo. cool Yoruba yeah, aunties. Yeah. They're very funny. Um Shama brings glam. Oh. I, I lost count of the Birkins that she was carrying. I, I mean, the, the shoes, the everything. Of which I have to say, there were a few suspect pieces. Not from trauma, but from other people. I hey! Mention, I won't mention who. Mention the name. But when, you, but when you watch the show, you will understand what I'm talking about. Like Gucci with one C. <laughs> just be watching but the person um so i saw when um caroline mm. was talking and she goes i married a billionaire poor people can't understand that oh yeah and i was like hello no. oh, no. wow. okay, you, so, so we're at the same table and on our side of the table i was like you know what we should do a drinking game for each time she says billionaire because she mentioned billionaire like five times in like five minutes so I was, every time i was like oh thank god it was just a soft drink so i was like <laughs> Can you? Sorry, uh-huh. question. Is she a billionaire? Well, like she married one, but if she was, uh, well, I don't know. If it's if it's sexually transmitted, yes. Whoa! Tools went in. Now, but what? but mm. say if it's sexually transmitted, then I can fly a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well done. Maybe you can manage. 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 
I, I'll say this though. Um, it's it's gonna be very entertaining. Yeah, so it's gonna watch be very entertaining. It. I was hearing some gist from behind the scenes that the beef was so strong among some ladies that during their their promo shoots, you know, the photo shoots, some of them didn't want to stand next to each other. That it was really was a lot. It's gonna um, be exciting. It's, I'm so so excited. I am. That Baby's like literally shaking. Listen. <laughs> I'm buzzing with excitement that um, also uh, what else happened that it was shy a lot okay that these women they went to Dubai for their there's always a, a cast trip they went to Dubai and it was quite a hectic a lot happened so you need to watch out for it Okay. In fact, let's try and get them in the studio. Yeah, we should. We should. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Um, so you know what this means, right? Because we've had like two reality shows mm-hmm. that are basically going to take over. That mm-hmm. means we should get ready for a ton of reality shows. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's, there's going to be, be real, a lot of rubbish. Real Housewives of Benda, Real Housewives of, <laughs> but yes. but that's what happens in Nigeria because yeah. if you think about it, the talent shows, the music talent shows, it started with one, and now we've got like about there's lots five. of copycats. That's yeah, there's lots of copycats. Gonna be like, we can do our own now, and then that's what's going to happen. See, it's very expensive very to do expensive. a reality t- uh, TV show because it's hours and hours of footage mm. and personnel that you have to pay, crew members, mm. all these things. So if you want to be a copycat good luck yeah god help you that and is not of good quality we will be here to make fun of you and you need to have good script writers as well they're not well they didn't write any scripts but you need well. to have people that, that put would, together good producers. You know, like it's it, the reality shows are scripted yeah. to an extent to, not to all, a, yes to an extent. I, I feel like even almost every reality show is scripted mm-hmm. so as in it they, they don't kind of just say okay we're going to show up your house and we're just going to see it's going to be oh why don't you call this person or why don't you do this mm-hmm. so they put those they put they put together these scenarios yeah. but you it needs to make sense mm-hmm. so in some of the um one or two episodes of um young african, young african it just i was so like i think it was the editing i don't know what it just was, was i was like okay that didn't really but the the person for me the star of the show was um what's her name the south Ooh. african lady um uh, zai is that her name yeah yeah she Kai, was Kai, 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 Kai. yeah so she 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 brought the she brought all the drama and she movie. was and yeah her wig was always as cute yo sorry as cute that green she should not forgive the stylist i don't know i, I think that that show did not I think See, they should get better hairstylists I saw the train and tracks. makeup I see, and makeup artists oh because they didn't do her well at all. So she was always looking she was looking like this. Yes. One <laughs> lash <laughs> like it was it was like nah. she woke up busted. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw yeah. the weave tracks on the train, yeah. like double tracks. Do you do you know oh do you know And what? I have to say that Annie has looked better. Yeah. She but, has looked better. She uh, that she looked she looked she looked better you know we've seen her she has a nice body she has, this she has is, a pleasant but this face is down but to the, the this hair, is down to the, like uh, this is down to the crew this is down to the mm. crew because you need to know how to light black people you yes. need to know how to even how to even like dark skin dark people skin. it's very very important because no it's actually very true yeah, I don't think, think it was lighting I don't think it was lighting you don't think it was they, they didn't even cut her hair well in front let me see that I had such a big issue with that. Train, what did you call it? Train track. <laughs> train track, man. That, because, you know what? It, I oh. felt so bad for her because, and if, God help any of you, <laughs> if you, now we're not looking if you edit me, right now. And my, you can see my tracks, whoa. Are you, are you threatening me? Uh, yes, I am threatening you. <laughs> so, you know what I think happened? You know what I think happened? You know how sometimes, maybe you want, like the wig is a bit snug and you're like, ah, let me just get some breeze. And then you take it, I've done that sometimes. I do it at work sometimes, where you just you push the wig back just so your hairline can get some air and everything. I think that's what happened. But they didn't now tell her when she started to just, which is evil of them. Apart from, but, uh, I guess it was the reality. reality. I have to say, speaking of these reality shows, did you see the drama that happened on the red carpet live on TikTok? So Prince from Big Brother oh was interviewing uh, Miriam. Um, Miriam, one of the Real let, Housewives. Let me give you a soundbite. It was a disaster. So he's disaster. asking. So he so he's interviewing her. And he asked her. So what do you think about the show? And she was like, uh, I'm one of the cast members of the show. And he was like, Oh, you are one of the cast members of the show. You know. And you know what? She oh. almost she finished him. She what was like, do? she was like, uh, I should do your she, job she was for like, you. you know what? I should do your job for you. She was like, you know what? My name is Miriam. I am a cast member of the Real Housewives of Lagos, and this is who. What's her name? He said, "It is a priest." She said, "Yes, priest." Who doesn't know his job? And then did almost she entered I him. I felt so bad for him. But how are you at the premiere or, or the launch of a reality show? He was not Excuse me, and you don't know the no, cast, cast member. member. 
Apart from that, all you need to do is look at the backdrop. Yes, look at the picture. <laughs> no, I was going to say that because the backdrop they they made these huge life size backdrops of these women. So I mean, unless you've been closing your eyes all night, how come you did not he see this woman? Like no, no, no. <laughs> and then also but his no. crew, his production crew also failed him because they should have said, "This is Miriam." Yeah, the cast yeah, members yeah. They should the show. And you know, I, again, I'm just going to say this. I feel like I understand, you know, brands wanting people with numbers doing certain things but you have to I hire have professional. professionals mm-hmm. at the end of the day a lot of times what happens is that they go and jump on these people who are very popular who are insta famous and they don't know the work and it annoys me because i'm like brands and brand managers come on come yeah. on come on there are people who are also insta famous who know the work Benita could have done the work. Temisan could have done the work. Aka could have done the work. Where, 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 we, 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 we sat next to Temisan. No, yeah, Temisan no, would have been... No, but Temisan, he would have thrown so much for shade. It doesn't yes. matter, but guess what? He would know that she's on, yeah, his, on the he cast. Would, yeah, he would talk yeah. about fashion. Hon- honestly, like, I think... That's yeah, I think that was actually very careless. That no, was very careless. I, I'm, on, I'm, I'm all for people I, when, growing and learning and everything, but come on, do your yeah. work now. Like a quick tip, when you're hosting events, first of all, you need to know who, like, if you're going to bring anyone on stage, if you're going to interview anyone, and then you need to also ask them how they would prefer to be referred to. Thank you. Yes. So, you know, for example, now, I hosted an event, and um, my script, it just had their names, and I had to be like, okay, What's do you, would you, yes, would you prefer me to call you Mrs. or Mr. or whatever? I had to do that, because some people would be like and she called me by my name mm-hmm. I'm seen you I can, I've seen you by like 30 years no because you're a tooth who no. do you think you are you're a tooth yeah so the whole point is get professionals to do the job yeah 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 yep. so that was I think I don't not think it's gonna mean, happen again I think he was him. I think he was thoroughly embarrassed I thought mm. I felt second hand yeah, third hand embarrassment him. as yeah, well for him yeah. um, so I think next time if there is next time he would be very very prepared I, I hope so uh-uh. That was a verbal <laughs> slap. <laughs> a verbal slap. I hear that she is quite the firecracker fire on the show. <laughs> That's almost nice. people because a lot of people she's not as popular yeah. as all the other people. But people and so a lot of people were like, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? But I, I heard, again the bags the gist they were giving me. They were like, look, this babe made these ladies stand as in they, they were on their toes because her mouth, her retorts are fast. She's fast with the mouth. So was I was it, just was like, any, were there any physical altercations? I no. This is not love and hip hop now. That's not like, there's different. See, this is why I always get annoyed. There's different. There's sorry, she the, the means like the reality. I don't really know. Real Housewives is a step up, like or, or several it steps is. above Love and Hip Hop and things like that. It so is. when they were when they, they were doing a, a Twitter spaces and the people were saying, oh, Love they wanted Hip-Hop. Bob Risky on this, and I was just Ew. like, this is not that kind of show. No shade mm-hmm. to Bob, but this is not that kind of show. You know, no. I although I did hear <coughs> that for young, uh, rich in African, mm. a uh, young famous in African, rather, I heard that um, a lot of it was cut out. Mm. Oh, I, I heard, heard a lot of gist about that. I too. heard that a, there was a lot of editing mm-hmm. that somebody wasn't particularly happy by how they were, were portrayed. portrayed. Don't want to say he or she, mm. and but, um. But uh, they yeah. were portrayed, they, so they were not very happy. They, so, but I feel like if you are signing up for a reality show, that's, you, you need to. Know. You need and to. And I hear know. they were paid heavily for that. You, you need to. You so. need to know. And it's a. It's a lot because uh, somebody asked me like, "Would you ever do it?" And I was like, first of all, I'm boring because you'd come to my house and I would be, be like, "Okay, we're gonna have like you know eggs and bread." Then it's a Sunday. We're gonna I, you know. Yeah, I hear we're gonna that. we're gonna watch TV and you, then that's it. You know how people always say, "Oh, six figures, six figures." No, they were paid like nine figures or ten for this show. Wait, wait, wait! In in dollars they or what? No, in naira. Sha, it was me, it was hundreds of millions they were tell, paid for this show. Tell me, tell me, tell me. That's in naira. Everybody. No, that no, those each, people. Each day, no, that those the day, day we are talking about. Oh, the as day, in the day, day that we're not day. happy. As in each each day. As a brand. As a unit. As a collective unit. They collect. They should collect it and move. That's, so <laughs> but if you're gonna collect that kind of money, then don't wail about how you're being portrayed. I know it's not. It's not like the greatest amount of money in the world, but also it is what it is. You knew that there were cameras in your face. Mm. Do you understand? So, yeah. 
Even I have to say, well, you know what? Let's talk about it. No, 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 no. Feel free, feel free. This no. is the first episode. Give them all the juice. Come on. Give them all the juice. Talk it, talk it, no. talk it, Give them all the talk it. Talk it. Were you not bothered about, about, about the level or concern? Let me say bothered. The level of love that Annie has for her husband. Not saying that that's who we're talking about, by the way. <laughs> But, I don't um, know where that came from. Disclaimer. But were you were you not concerned? Somebody somebody said I don't. She said that she, let me let me give vows, my. She says I hope to die next to you. Obsession. Let me okay. Let me give my disclaimer. I don't really like talking about people's like Relationship. relationships relationships with because it's a lot of work. It I was can be quite, But somebody said somebody said and. I, I like both of them. This I is my do. disclaimer. I like both yeah, of them. I wish the very best and everything. And everything. Um, but somebody actually said, I never want to love somebody the way Annie loves Two Face. And from what I saw in the show, I kind of got it. Because, and I think it's also down to the fact that this was her first love. Most of us don't end up with our first loves. My first love is probably in jail. So that's Ooh. why. But um, honestly, most of us don't end up with our first love. So it's, it's, it's I think when you get older as you get older you're more discerning in relationships there's certain things that you don't see, everything is not so rosy and what have you so i get what that person was saying because i feel that um from certain from certain angles you could you could kind of say that annie sort of loved to us so much that she kind of lost herself i, I mean, think she mentioned it that she devoted a lot of time i to think her family so and... many women need to be careful of that Hmm. I think so many women need to be careful of that because it is, I think a, a, a lot of women that I know, um, and myself included, actually, you, you give, you ha- we have a lot to give. You need to make sure that you don't give everything. Mm-hmm. You need to make sure you don't give everything. You cannot love somebody so much that it, it affects the way you love yourself. Hmm. Hey, look at me sounding like a relationship expert. <laughs> right. <laughs> on that note, you understand? <laughs> on that note, we say thank you so much for watching. We're back. Have you seen our billboard? <laughs> We're in a billboard, baby. What do you guys think of my short hair? I'm going to keep it. It's very nice. Thank you very, very much. Nice. Thank, very you, nice, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Know. Um, thank you so much for watching the very first episode of Huff Hair Season 5. You're going to be seeing season a lot. Five. Of, yes, five seasons. Five of Five seasons of these beautiful faces right in your face. And the back of these <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If there's anything you guys want us to delve into, mm. give our opinions on, yeah, you know sure. what our social media handles are. Hit us up on um, Twitter.com, Instagram.com, our fair, our fair show. Um, all the handles are here. Subscribe there somewhere. to our YouTube channel. Maybe as- Sub- subscribe to season our five. We've been see this this season five and we're still begging for this. So we're not begging. Like we're not begging. No, it's, it's I mean we're I'm above just... that. We're not begging. Right. That's private jets. Do you understand? It's not. It's not mine, but still. Right. But still. I'm just saying. Like. Have you <laughs> have you entered private jet before? Oh. Mm. <laughs> it was a photo shoot, but still. <laughs> <laughs> even though, even <laughs> though. <laughs> I mean, thank you so much, guys. See you next week. Bye. Which camera is that? I don't even know. Bye. <laughs>